What's up everyone? It's a little after 6 a.m. And we're up early trying to test our luck at the Grand. And I don't mean the Grand Casino. I mean as beginner hikers going into the Grand Canyon. We're gonna try to complete this Bright Angel Trail or at least to the plateau and back. That's about a 12 mile trip. It's about, whew, I think it's in the teens right now. Maybe 20 degrees and you know, wish us luck. All right, we're at the gas station. Use the bathroom, got our energy drinks. I'm about to head out to the Grand Canyon for real. Five minutes away. Let's do this. Let's go. All right, so we made it just a little after eight. And uh, we brought the wrong park pass from last year, but that lady was nice enough to let us in for free. Right now we're gonna, I don't know, meditate. Pray that we make it out alive. Stretch as well. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's not too icy and uh we'll keep you guys posted. Cheers. Finally in the sun. We're not lying, it's in the teens. Feels good now, right George? Yeah. Surprisingly a lot of people on this trail. Yeah. I would expect one or two, but I see like five, six people just by us. Half the time it's been icy. You don't really have any spikes or anything to help with it. Tough. Yeah. Damn, but going down is working on my legs already too. Yeah. Cause we have to like stop ourselves from slipping. Yep. Damn, this part is Awesome. Be safe. Hey, good dog. God, be safe, they good dog. Reminds me of that, uh, you know, the people that are like uh, running in the winter. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> and this is like, are you guys okay? Yeah. It's, it's good. It's perfect running <laughs> weather. <laughs> she runs. Light on the knees. <laughs> I wonder if they had to like carve off some of this canyon walls. This would be a nice picture area though. Damn, this is nice dude. What a beautiful day. So we're at the mile and a half point. It's not so bad yet. And then our goal is to get down to the plateau. Oh, uh, it's right there somewhere. Got another like four and a half miles. How are you holding up? Good. All right, four and a half miles left to go. Well, until we get down there. I don't know why they use hiking sticks on the way down. To me, I find that dangerous. Yeah, on the way down. Can I get service? Yeah. <laughs> I 
think we're about almost three miles in and the snow and the ice is starting to dissipate. More comfortable walking now. Three mile house. All right, we're at the three mile mark. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. Yep. Not so bad. Feeling good. Yeah. Why we did this? It's almost 10 o'clock. I was gonna not come this morning because it was so cold. Yeah. The two girls didn't come though. But it feels good right now. I think it's like another mile and a half. We got to half point. Oh yeah, yeah. Three miles. That was a half point. But I think we have another mile and a half to get to we need to go. Uh, Indian Gardens. Then from there, I think it's like another mile and a half. You want that picture, huh? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Let me get this video first. Let's go. I'm guessing that's Indian Gardens down there. Man, what a gem. Yeah. What a treasure. Close up. Bam. Man, if they had like a, a zip lining from here to the plateau, that would be too legit. You need me to move? <laughs> no. See that snow up there? That's where we came from. Right there. It's been a long time coming. Dude, I can't believe we made it to I Indian know. Garden dude. That's, Yeah. That was like our original goal. Yep. But I think we can still go further, right? Yeah, of course. Easy. <laughs> Easy work. We got okay. this. Hi there. Hi. You want a hiking stick, dude? <laughs> Nah. Man, I can't believe we have to do a balance beam across, dude. High pressure water line keep off. That's a, that's a uh, yeah. We were gonna walk this pipe across, but no. I don't know what they would call that. That indentation. Is that like a little cave? Anybody know? Can feel free to comment. It's beautiful. Man, we're surrounded by canyons for real. Man, the girls are missing out, man. Yep, they sure are. Give a speech. Time for a new beginning, new chapter, and uh, we made it kind of to the bottom where Eden is it Eden Garden? Indian. Indian Garden. So it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty nice down here. Relaxing. Feel accomplished. Plateau right, point this way. Hello guys. So, I was not expecting this. Almost to the plateau, Rachel. Yeah, there's nothing. Where do you did like about five miles, right? Yeah, but going up though, I'm drinking a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take it off yet. Yeah. Well, we're gonna need it for the way back. We're back to seeing rocks, Lake Havasu rocks, Archer's rocks. We're doing good. 
to. That's four and a half, one and a half. Oh, almost done with six miles. No water or food yet. Feels so good. Yeah. California condors. Finally made it to the plateau. What do you think? It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's it was a it was a wonderful hike. I don't know. No words can describe it, really. Yeah, you got me to really witness and experience the nature of the Grand Canyon, well, at least for this uh, this trail that we were in. And this wind is different. It's like a free. It's like just embracing it. Show you what we packed. You tell us if we overpacked or underpacked. We're newbies here. Uh, what you got, man? I got my hiking stick, my water bag for a backpack. Got some uh, thermal hand warmers. Got the Grand Canyon uh, hiking trail here. In case we get lost. Got some wipes, uh, little hands. Got my wallet. Got my kick-ass jerkies. Awesome jerkies. Yeah, they are not too salty. It's like perfectly mixed with the cheese in it. That's pretty much it. All right, and then for me, I got this cool Cotopaxi bag. You guys seen that before? There you go. More kick-ass jerky, because that's the life now. Sweet. And warmers too. Pocket knife, quick release. You know, in case, uh, in case we need hand sanitizers, pistachios. More kick-ass jerky. Fire starter. I don't know how to use it, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, George and I are sharing a pair of hiking sticks just for the way up. And in here, there's lunchbox. Magic. Um, nothing much. Treasure. Pickles and just two sandwiches. Roast beef, uh, like what, eight slices of meat in there? That's protein for y'all. I don't know what else. Oh, yeah, extra pair of socks, bag just in case, you know, emergencies. Toilet paper. Emergencies <laughs> and a three liter uh, water bag. Oh, there you go. All right. I didn't fill it to the top. But nope. It's all right. Didn't drink it yet. That's all we got. I don't know if that was too much or too little. The point is to make it back alive. So uh, we're prepared, I think. Uh, we're going to eat now. Cheers. Mm. Damn, my turn. Best looking picnic I've ever been to. Let's do this. It's double the cheese, roast beef, turkey, mayo. Mm. I need more mayo, but it's good. And this raven right here took George's mustard packet. Didn't mean to throw it away. You ain't getting it. Let's eyeing this. <laughs> It's about 12.15, we made it down here in three hours, and let's see how long it takes us to go back up. So far, probably 16,000 steps. Yeah, it'll probably take us like four hours to go back up. Yeah. Since we're out of shape, but here goes nothing. All right, we're two and a half miles up this hill, and uh, 
It's so darn easy. Right, George? So easy. So, so easy. easy. Anybody can do it. As long as you have a mindset to do it. So easy. I don't know if I'm going to continue. <laughs> so easy. No, man. This is tough. This is not even the worst of it, too. Make sure you bring a lot of water. Make sure you pack light. Make sure you use the bathroom. Number two, to be yeah. exact. And make sure your shoes are broken in. I think we got like two and a half hours left. Straight uphill. We could do it. We got this. See you guys on top. Damn, George. How far are we, dude? We're probably like about halfway up to where we got to get at. Half a mile. Like another mile? I say, yeah, roughly a mile. Half a mile to a mile. Gosh, tell the viewers how easy it is, dude. It's so easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. All right, we finally made it back to the car. Wow. If I said it was hard, I would be lying. It was extremely hard. <laughs> Man, yeah, that, was... last, that last mile was like torture. It was gruesome. You probably had like four stops before like the last half mile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I swear we stopped every point one mile. And then you cramped. And then I cramped up. I had to walk on my heels for the last five minutes. Yep. But yeah, we did it. One thing we wanted was to bring more snacks. Yeah, we should have brought more. We ate all our snacks. Yeah, everything. And you finished your water. Yeah, I finished my two liter of water. Yeah, I probably have one liter left. And uh, we're gonna go treat ourselves to some McDonald's. <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, triple quarter pounder. Yeah, something like that. Uh, extra large french fries. Man, that was a success though. I can't sure, believe we did it. Sure it was. It was a great experience to do. We left at 840. Yep. We got back at 340. So, seven hours. Fred took a 30 minute rest at the plateau. So, six hour hike for 12 miles. Yeah, we kicked ass today. Yo, we can say we're rock stars. Oh yeah. Until next time, we're destination. That's George. Peace. That was fun. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, this total is gonna come out to 7463. Alright, thank you.